Hey guys, it's me, Miss Norris, and today I'd like to share a fun read aloud with you of the story, May I Bring a Friend. May I Bring a Friend was, was written in 1964 by Beatrice Schenk de Regeneres and illustrated by Benny Montresor, and it is a fun story about a nice queen and a nice king and a little friend that they make. If you're ready to hear the story, I'm ready to share it with you. Here we go. May I Bring a Friend. I'll get closer in a moment. The king and queen invited me to come to their house on Sunday for tea. So this little guy has been invited to have tea with the king and queen on Sunday. I told the queen and the queen told the king I had a friend I wanted to bring. The king told the queen, My dear, my dear, any friend of our friend is welcome here. So I brought my friend. So there's the, the king and the queen. And he says, Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. Bring him on over. So he brought his friend. A giraffe. The king said, Hello! He said, How do you do? The queen said, Well, fancy meeting you. So even though the, this guy brought his friend that's a giraffe to his house, the king and queen are still very excited to have them with them. That's pretty nice. I'm not sure if anyone brought a giraffe to my house. I'm not sure if I would enjoy it much. My friend sat down right next to me, and everybody had a cup of tea. So it looks like the giraffe has very nice manners. I'd invite him back. The king and queen said, We are having stew on Monday for dinner, and we want you to come. I told the queen, and the queen told the king, I had a friend I wanted to bring. The king told the queen, My dear, my dear, any friend of our friend is welcome here. So I brought my friend. So once this time, the king and queen want the boy to come for stew. And he says, I have a friend. And again, the king says, any friend of yours, he's a friend of ours. So he brought a friend. It looks like a hippopotamus. And again, the king and the king looks very surprised, but happy. My friend sat down next to the king, and when dinner was over, there wasn't a thing left to eat. So you can see the hippopotamus sat next to the king and Looks like ate everything clean. Again, the king looks very surprised. The king and the queen sent me a card. Come for lunch on Tuesday. Please try hard to come. So I sent a card. Dear queen and king, I have a friend I want to bring. The king and the queen sent me a letter. They said, the more friends that you bring, the better. So I brought more friends. So the king and queen must be enjoying these different friends that are all animals. And they said, the more the merrier. So he brought friends. Lots and lots of monkeys. The king said, hello. The queen, gave, the queen gave me a kiss and said, what monkey business is this? So you can see the queen is giving the boy a kiss. The monkeys are going a little wild. The king looks happier with the monkeys than he did with the hippos. 
but the queen called it all monkey business. They hung from the roof, they sat on the floor, they ate and they ate till there wasn't any more to eat. So they had a, a swinging good time, those monkeys. And let's see if we can check out the look on the king and queen's faces. Mm, the little boy looks very happy. I'm not sure the king and queen look as happy. Hmm. Again, I'm not sure if I would like that many monkeys in my castle. The king and queen sent a man with a horn to ask me to come on Wednesday morn for breakfast. <clears throat> I told the man to tell the king I had a friend I'd like to bring. The king told the man, please tell my dear, I'm sorry, please tell my dear friend that his friend is welcome here. So I brought my friend. So they've been invited, the king and queen have invited him for breakfast. And again, he wants to bring a friend. Who could it be? He's already had a giraffe and a hippo and some monkeys. What could be next? Maybe an elephant? The king said, hello, the queen said with a frown. I don't know where your friend can sit down. So I think maybe the boy might be pushing his luck a little bit. The king is happy, but this time the queen is like, we weren't expecting an elephant. We don't know where your friend's going to sit. Anywhere he wants, I think. So... We sat on my friend. Let's see if I can get up close. They had a little tea party up on the elephant's back. Or breakfast, I'm sorry, not a tea. Breakfast. And everyone looks pretty happy up there. Even our friend the elephant. Hmm. Please, said the king, and please, said the queen, Come on Thursday for Halloween. And we want you to know, said the queen and the king, you can bring any friends you would like to bring. So they're out butterfly catching. And the boy says, so I came and brought my friends. Ooh, I wonder how the king and queen celebrate Halloween. And I wonder what friends the boy will bring. <laughs> Hello, said the king and queen. Now who can this be? Look at all of his friends. What, are, what animal is that? Roar, lions. But they're dressed up for Halloween, so the king and queen might not know. Uh, then the lions roared and they knew I was me. So all of the lions started roaring, and the king and queen just looked at each other like, ah, we know who this is. The queen said to me, do come on Friday. Yes, said the king, it's apple pie day. I said to the queen, Will you tell the king I have a friend I want to bring? The queen told the king, who said, My dear, any friend of our friend is welcome here. I just like that the king and queen are swinging. So, I brought my friend. For apple pie day. <clears throat> The king said, hello. The queen said, wee. Let's hear you play. Oh, say, can you see? So we brought a, a seal that plays the trumpet. And the queen wants to hear his music. My friend played a song called Long Live Apple Pie. Then the king played a while. 
and so did I. So everyone played a, a little bit of music for the queen. An, a song about long live the apple pie. <clears throat> the king and queen invited me to come on Saturday for tea. Oh no, my friends want you instead to come and visit them, I said. So that is why. So again, the king and queen have invited the boy to come for tea. And the boy says, no, 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 my friends want you to come. And that is why the king and queen and I and all my friends were seen on Saturday at half past two having tea at the city zoo. The end. So where did all the boys' friends come from? The city zoo. We can see the monkeys and the lions and the giraffe and the elephant and probably I probably the seal and everybody is enjoying their tea time at half past two at the zoo. And look at the little birds, they're all staring at the, the people in the cages too. The end. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you really enjoyed the story, May I Bring a Friend? And maybe the next time you're invited someplace, you'll consider bringing a friend. If you liked this story, please hit that thumbs up button at the bottom of the page. If you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot to me. If you're not a subscriber yet, please hit that subscribe button down here at the bottom of the page. And don't forget to click the bell so that you're notified when there's new content. I hope to see you all again real soon. Bye-bye.